Well, we're located on the north coast of New South Wales in the Byron Bay hinterland. The site gently slopes down to the west and we wanted this house to feel like it was almost embedded into the hill a little bit. When you arrive at the house, it's really lovely um, and unusual experience. You look over the house, completely over the roof to the view. So you get a little bit of a snapshot of what the view is going to be like, which is kind of enticing in itself. The flat roof in mid-century design is critical to the success of any mid-century home. You've got this idyllic hinterland property, but what really is interesting is this incredible personal overlay. The client's vision is really to recreate these childhood memories of growing up in an Australian modernist house designed by the architect Robin Boyd. There's a few key architectural principles that we took on when we started designing Los Palmas. The division of spaces, splitting them into the two pavilions, so the private and the entertaining wing. In the main entertaining zone that we're sitting in, the joinery and the main structural elements were clustered to the centre, which allowed circulation to flow around the perimeter. What we're trying to do is to really emphasise this sense of endless space that the hinterland provides. We talk a lot about the transparency of glass. That's used again to connect completely with the environment. If you're outside looking in, you'll get that beautiful reflection in the glass of the greenery behind. The floor to ceiling windows are so important. They really accentuate the height of the space and they allow that sense of transparency from front to back. The house was all about dual aspect living. We've got quite a, quite a shallow space with glass on both sides. It almost gives you the choice of going one way or the other depending on what the climate's doing or the weather on that day. We had to have good overhangs and we had to also have some protection from the east which we get through landscaping and the, uh, the geography of the site on the east. When we are designing a house, we're always trying to create a plan, if we can, on a, on a greenfield site where we've got space that allows opportunities for landscaping to occur. And I think that's what mid-century design does. The building almost plays second fiddle to the site. Light in this building is incredibly important because it's doing two things. It's not only about atmosphere, but it's also about functionality. Capturing this great thermal mass from the floor plate it's also working to create this beautiful temporal nature. You're getting this incredible interplay of light and patterning that's happening at different times of the day. In this house, it is very much depicted as this really bright summer house, but actually the moments when it's dark, stormy and moody, you also get this incredible emotive effect from those times of the year as well. All the materials are chosen, deliberately chosen to age well the materials, whether it's concrete, whether it was the tapware, whether it was timber that we've used externally or the stone around the fireplace, all these materials are just going to age very gracefully over time. The fireplace was a really important device in the design of the house. It's got a dual facade to it, if you like. The other side of the fireplace, it creates a much more intimate space. It's somewhere where you can go that's a little bit more passive, but it's still connected because the fireplace is a free-floating object in the space. The private wing features the master bedroom, and like most things with this house, it was all about views. In some of these intimate spaces, like the hallway that leads to the kids' bedrooms, I often like to make that space quite functional, so that space can be used as a study, and it allows that desk to be seen from the kitchen. So while they're private and acoustically separated, they're also connected back to the house. There's another bedroom located on a lower level, which you're not really aware of when you come to the house. Strictly speaking, it's, it is a two-storey home, but like most mid-century houses, you don't want the house to feel like a two-storey house. And in behind the kitchen, we've got a pantry and a media room. They're almost like secret spaces. Sustainability is very important in design, whether it is architecture or furniture. So invest in it, do it once, do it right philosophy. And Australian design products are incredibly important to us because I guess we are focused on this idea of longevity. The idea of having a piece of furniture that you have for a lifetime, it becomes multi-generational, very similar to the philosophy of this house. The furniture is so important in modern design, it really doesn't matter whether you're sitting on a grass courtyard or whether you're under a roof outside or whether you're in the living room. We like to consider the outdoor spaces as just another room of the house. When you come here, you feel very rested, like you're almost on holidays. 
And I think for a full-time house where someone's living, that's a really lovely thing to have. Uh, it, it does have a, a certainly a, a little bit of a resort feel to it, and we've been able to create that just on a regular block, so it's, it's quite exciting.